What's up everybody? I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset. Let's face it, technology is changing. Well, I mean, that's nothing new, right? I mean, technology has been changing pretty fast since the Industrial Revolution started, what, in the 18th century? But what's different now than before is that the rate at which technology is changing is getting faster and faster at a crazy rate. It took the telephone 75 years to hit 50 million users. Then it took the TV about 13 years to hit 50 million users. Then it took Facebook just three and a half years to hit 50 million users. Then it took Instagram just over like a year and a half to hit that 50 million mark. And then it took Pokemon Go, you wanna guess? 19 days to hit 50 million users. This is great news for entrepreneurs because the possibilities are growing exponentially and it's pretty exciting and kind of scary to think about what technology has in store for us in the future, you know, with artificial intelligence and robots and all of that. You've seen iRobot, right? But on the other side, this also means that the job market will probably flip faster than we've ever seen in the past with lots of regular jobs becoming obsolete pretty soon. So in this video, I want to go over five reasons why the job market and the economy is going to flip right in front of us and what you should do to capitalize on it. First, Amazon is going to do what Amazon does best. Amazon has already changed the way we shop for books and clothes and now they're changing the way we shop for groceries. You know, with Amazon Fresh and Amazon buying Whole Foods, but sometimes I feel like Amazon even outdoes themselves with their new ideas because what they have coming is pretty freaking crazy. Amazon is working on their new version of Amazon Prime called Amazon Prime Air where a drone without a pilot will bring your product from the sky and drop it off at your doorstep in 30 minutes or less. And if that's not crazy enough, Amazon just got approved for a patent that allows their drone to react to screams and flailing arms. This way you can redirect the drone if you need to. No, don't land on my cat. This one invention could potentially eliminate the need for millions of delivery people. And who knows what this drone could evolve to in the future. Second, you got your lean, mean, Robot Grilling Machine, a burger chain called Cali Burger in California, was struggling to find and keep employees to work on the grills, so they invested in a robot, and that's how Flippy was born. The CEO of Cali Burger said that his employees kept quitting because it's not a lot of fun working the grill, and it was really hot working there, and it was super expensive to keep paying to find and train new employees. And now, Flippy can flip about 2,000 burgers a day and the heat doesn't bother him, or her, or it. And Flippy doesn't need health insurance, yet. Third, get ready for illegal shoplifting, sort of. So self-checkout lanes were kind of like the first step towards automation for grocery stores, but now it's getting a lot bigger with fully automated cashierless stores. It feels kind of like shoplifting. You walk into the store, you look for what you want, you pick it up, then you put it in your cart, and then you just walk out without standing in any lines and without even checking out. The way it works is that your phone is synced with your shopping cart. So when you walk out of the store, your credit card is charged based on whatever you have in the shopping cart. Amazon was one of the first pioneers of the store model. Big surprise, right? But now other stores are catching on and they're having to do the same thing. This way they can compete with the lower labor costs. Walmart announced that they'll be adding the scan and go technology to 100 of their stores this year. And Kroger announced that they'll be adding this technology to 400 of their stores in 2018 alone. I guess now it's just a matter of time until robots figure out how to stock shelves before stores become fully automated. Fourth, now this one is not for everyone, but some of you will be able to build your next home in just a few hours. Businesses like Passive Dom, I think that's how you say it, are making 3D printed smart homes that are completely 100% off the grid. These homes are self-heated and cooled, they're solar powered, and a robot can build the home in less than a day. I've never seen one of these homes, so I don't know how sturdy they are, but you can get one of these homes built for less than $100,000 
because of the reduced labor cost and because of the materials that they use. This company was just founded in 2017 and they already have thousands of pre-orders from people all over the world. I wonder if they can build me a home with an indoor basketball court. Huh. And number five, a new generation of driving. Cars have been messing around with adaptive cruise control for a while where you don't have to always hold the steering wheel and the speed will automatically adjust based on where you are in traffic. And now, Fully driverless cars are really not that far away. Uber has already placed an order for 24,000 fully automated driverless cars. This way they can start replacing their contracted drivers with their own self-driving fleet. And Lyft is no different. They've already begun testing their self-driving service in Boston. And taxi drivers aren't the only drivers out there. There's a huge fight going on right now for who's going to be the first to market with a fully automated semi-truck. And Domino's is working with Ford to create a fully automated self-driving pizza delivery car. My question is, would you still be required to tip the pizza robot car? Whether you believe this change is amazing or horrible, the fact of the matter is change is inevitable and it's happening right in front of us. And as with everything else, as this change is happening, you have three options. You can sit there and watch it happen, you can complain about it, or you can be different than the majority of people and do something about it. The future will not need as much human labor as we once did, as you just heard me talk about. We will need more thinkers and creative people who can think outside of the box. This way you can do things that robots can't. So what should you focus on? Well, society will pay for efficiency as you just heard me talk about with all of these different things. People also want experiences instead of just stores to go and spend their money, which is why malls are now having to adapt and change. And the world wants more creative, and entrepreneurs. You know, people that like come on YouTube and talk about things that interest them and people that have a passion and they create something and they start a business, these type of people. And if you're looking for some guidance on where to start and how to turn your passion into a business, we have an ebook on this and it's completely free when you sign up for our business newsletter and you can read it on our website by clicking the link up here or by clicking the link in the caption below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and share it with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss our new videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every single week. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you actually find out when our new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.